There aren't many events that both large and small organisations can come to and take the opportunity to both network, but also take the opportunity to hear speakers who are willing to put themselves forward. So if you look at tonight's event, for example, we've got people, world leaders like Hewlett Packard Labs here on the same platform as Caddickston Primary School. Those events don't happen often. So Skills Gap's a real thing for HP. Um, we're, a bit, we're a very big company in the UK. We have 15 to 20,000 employees in the UK covering service delivery, uh, everything up to research and R&D. And we need to position ourselves for, for the new digital economy, which includes mobile, which includes big data, data science, uh, and cyber, topics such as cyber security are vital for us in, in going forward. And we need uh, our new intake of uh, graduates to have the skills that are relevant for the future. Um, that's not to say the core STEM skills, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, mathematics aren't critical, they are, but they need to have that understanding of um, the new style of IT, the way things are going to be in the future, because that's what helps them create uh, value in a digital economy and, and also helps them be relevant, because if they're not relevant, they won't find the important roles that they need in order to develop. I actually think that universities, educators, and businesses need to start from day one. As soon as that, that child has left school with their A-levels and they come into university, they start from day one working with a business. And you know that's the only way that you can, I feel, um, develop the person and the business together. We've got a, a, a paradox in, in, if that's the right word, in universities, in that we develop courses that by the time the student has finished is out of date. Um, so we have to do real-time educational opportunities and that's, you know, that's quite a challenge for both businesses and universities and students as well.